Right, we've come to the end. I'm not doing the end. Came along the path all the way along that way a minute ago. Um, you can go up round that way. You can go this way. I'll be walking all the way up the beach to get the bus. Of course, when, when I live this end of town, I wouldn't do that. I used to walk through the wood home. I still like doing that, really, but you know, you've still got to walk across town. And I, I do do it. I make a whole day of it. Make a whole day of it. Oh, it's lovely outside. Look at these. I was just saying, last time I was here, probably two or three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago even, it was the cowslips turn. And there was loads and loads of cowslips. Now look at the daisies. They've gone absolutely berserk, haven't they? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I decided not to do the very lower track today because um, further up there's lots of brown, lots and lots of brambles, unless someone's been out and clipped any of it away. Just, uh, I know if I'm trodding something, something sounds a bit doggy. That is a risk. The only thing I could have done, but it looks, still looks too muddy and boggy as well, I could have gone down the cliff onto the beach down there, but it looks, still looks too boggy for me. What a lovely view, isn't it? Unfortunately, not too many people out. Like I said, last time I was here, this we've had wild white garlic, we've had bluebells, we've had cowslips, and now we've got the daisies and buttercups. They've really gone well here, haven't they? Look at that. Like I said, I'm now due, due really for a crook peak walk. Um, that will be happening. Well, uh, yeah. That will be happening. I 
Right, just coming down from there. I've taken loads and loads of photos. I've not videoed a lot because there's so much beauty with the photo with the photos alone. I'm just coming up to the trig point now. Nobody round it at the moment. Yeah, we'll walk across the marshes. I don't know, it might still be boggy. Down that way, it might still be boggy. Lots of planes, like one every minute. I've got a... Hard to focus with my camera. I did manage to get the tail end of one in. It's like that one there coming over. Where is it? Yeah, I just, I need to actually stop when I do it, really. Oh yeah, yeah. Camera, this is Sheila. Just so people do believe I've been up here. Right now, then, um, right in the distance over there is the priory that we were at earlier. Right over there. Which I can't see, of course, it's terrible. I know it's there though. Oh, it's quite warm now. Quite warm. Probably be quite messy the videos because it's um cameras moving around a lot. There's the beach over there. Not many of people on it. Now I wonder why that is. Do you reckon it's because it's a beautiful hot day and there's no one out? Because they're all at home with their barbecues and their beer watching the FA Cup. Okay, now I 
I see you. Yeah. Very good this camera with yeah, people will be watching having barbecues on their gardens. It's a big day for football. The FA Cup is still seen as a very important trophy. And um you know what I mean? It's still seen as a very important trophy. But it's a Manchester derby really. Isn't it? Let's take the picture of that beautiful thistle. And this little medley of flowers down here. I've taken loads and loads of pictures today of flowers. Somebody coming. Just turn off for a minute. Right, we just haven't we just had a little rest. We've had some cheese. Somebody's coming as soon as I put the video on. Somebody coming right away. Anyway, we've had a lovely walk. Go and be, see if we can get an ice cream now. Um, turn off for a minute. I don't know if there'd be an ice cream van there because they haven't finished the car park yet. Got out to throw some sweets away. The bloody fudge had melted in my pocket. Fortunately, it didn't make a mess of my camera. The Sony that was living in there, well, I wasn't using it. Yeah, he's just had me cheese because it's all flat now in a minute and... Very, very quiet, and I think I know why it's quiet. Most families of blokes want to watch the football, don't they? And women do these days. It's a family thing. Invite your family and friends around, have a barbecue. We used to be the same. Cattle will be returning to Sand Point soon. This field has been grazed for grassland conservation purposes, improving biodiversity and managing shrubs. Please keep dogs under control. Oh, so the cows will be up the sand as well. Sand Point, yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, when they're up the sand, I'll go up the end. They don't tend to have them up both ends at the same time, if you know what I mean. Let me just take a picture of that. Yeah, I used to like walking all the way back up the beach, actually, and through the wood. It was a part of my day out. But now, you see, because I've got to walk right across town, I, I tend to get on the bus. I've got a couple of shorter walks I do through the wood, as far as um, Pontins, and then back up the wood. I've got a few I do like that. Of course, I was out at Row Barrow as well a week or so ago. Doing the hill fort. Um, 
I've just got this feeling that ice cream van won't be there. I just think because the football's on, they'll think it's empty and they won't, they won't be here. Look at those pretty little flowers. Lovely. Everything seems to be so healthy. Apparently the extra warm, wet weather has helped. Lots and lots of plants. Especially garlic, apparently. The wild garlic's gone mad bloody berserk. It's definitely quieter than I know there's a few people out, but... I would say it's definitely quieter for a Saturday than usual. Now, it's half an hour to kick off. Like I said, I do watch football, I do like football, but I don't particularly like watching Manchester United. And if they won, it would be horrible. So I'm not, I don't mind. I don't mind if Man I hope Manchester City beat them. I'll watch the highlights later. Feels very quiet, doesn't it? I expect some people will have their laptops with them up there watching the football, some blokes would. Or women, you know. We tend to associate it with men though, don't we? It's only gradually coming into the... Um, f some women say, oh, I'm not watching women's football, I think I'm a lesbian. Do you know what I mean? There's such a strong thing against women supporting women. <sighs> you know, that you must be something wrong with you if you want to play hockey or anything. You've got to have been a lesbian, you know. All that goes on. Like, even if, if you don't find a man after your bloke's left you, oh, there must be something wrong with you. You must be a lesbian. All that sort of thing. Just, you know, that's how they are. I can see the ice cream van. I can see the ice cream van, the ice cream van, the ice cream van. I can see the ice cream van, la 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 la. Oh, they've opened it up a bit, made it more formal. Over and out a minute. 